All right, let's try this again. It helps when you put the SD card in. So, it's Monday. It's uh, 5.15. Got home from work. I want to show you the transmission stand that I made um, yesterday. So, that's my transmission stand. And then I'm using a little... It's my uh, cleaning tank, I guess you could, you could say. What am I using? Oh yeah, that industrial purple. I mixed a little bit. That five gallons is supposed to be, that five gallons, that gallon jug is supposed to take care of 25 gallons. So I mixed it with water. And I put a little bit in there, and it's doing an awesome job cleaning this up. I just have some stuff in there. So anyway. Yep, it's my transmission stand you're looking at. And uh, like I showed you before, that's the leak. And here's inside the pan, if anybody is interested. And, whoop, don't want to focus. Come back. Oh, a little too close. Wonderful particles actually looks bigger than what what it actually is drain plug look at that mm. yep it's got to come apart so I made the stand mm, the welds came out okay I started to rush because this is galvanized and unfortunately I started to breathe it and wasn't feeling good, so I rushed it to finish it. Um, I welded uh, some blind nuts. Not blind nuts, I guess you can. I made blind nuts. Drilled a hole, put a nut in there, and welded it in, and then I bolted in. So it's nice and tall. It's three and a half feet tall, as you can tell, next to the Suburban. Anyway, what I'm going to do is start taking this apart. I'm going to lay it on its back and uh, start taking this apart. When I pulled the, the transmission pan off, when it was on the ground, the uh, transmission filter was just laying on the bottom of the pan, so I'm wondering if that was my problem when I went to drive it and it wasn't shifting properly. And then what else? Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. Tell me what you think, if I should just run with it? I don't know, can you see the lines in it? They don't look too bad, but almost wondering if I think that's part of the front pump. The tail shaft has that as well, but not too bad. Anyway, what do you think on that? If I could find a replacement that's not expensive, a used one. I mean, I could go get another transmission and rip that one apart too, but it may be in the same shape, or worse, or better. Anyway, this is what I started with, I unplug this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the valve body off, see where it's at, we'll go from there. All right, hang tight. I'm only gonna work on this probably for like half an hour. I'm gonna see if I can get the front pump out and the valve body. So I'm gonna lay this down, upside down. Should be done dripping and I'll uh, come back. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have all the bolts off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I just want to see what it does if I just... Yeah. Okay. Alright, it's loose. I'm going to pull it. Bring you guys back. Get it up on my little makeshift workbench. Of course, the truck's getting more and more stuff piled onto it, but yeah, whatever. All right. All right. Let's see uh, what happens pulling this pump out.
if I could get it. There it is. Just going to put this on the bench. As a one piece. And uh, see where we'll go from here. All right, so um, I know my dad said he wanted to help with this, so I'm not taking. Whoa, I'm not taking any of this apart. But I did find something. I don't know if it means anything. If anybody knows anything about transmissions, in this first clutch pack, this plastic piece inside here is all broke. See it? That piece is all, it's all busted up. Um, also, when I pulled the transmission pan off, I don't know if I told you guys, uh, the oil filter was sitting on the bottom of the pan, the transmission filter. So I don't know if when I was taking the transmission out, it fell down, or that's why I was having that issues. And then also to get this, it looks like it's to get this, the rear shaft out. I need to take that snap ring off right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's like, it's right about that area. And I think once I take that out, I could get the sun shell out. I have a new sun shell to put in it. Like they call it the beast sun shell. So um, the transmission rebuild kit that I have for this, it's all in here. So here's the Sonics, Sonic, I guess it's called Sonic Sunshell, Torrington bearings, um, True Tech. Um, don't know if it's good, we'll find out. So, not sure what I'm going to use. All kinds of parts, so I got boxes of parts. So I'm going to quit it right here until uh, I get that that shaft out. So as for now, hello. As for now, we'll uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, and I'm not sure how to test any of this stuff or if it's usually good. You know, put seals and stuff, all that stuff on it. Other than that, um, these O-rings are just hard as a rock. Except for that one. But yeah, so I'm going to finish this up. Maybe I'll uh, go edit it and uh, put this as, you know, tear down on number one, part one. And we'll begin part two. All right, see ya.